What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and we are uh, still at, uh, what was it, Mount Blaze Peak, yeah there we go. Uh, we are, I guess, halfway through since we had that checkpoint and now it's just a matter of making it to the end of it to progress the story. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, highly appreciated. Um, and those that are subscribed, the new subscribers, shout out to you guys because you guys are the reason why I'm still putting these videos out um i guess if i i feel like if i wasn't getting more views from uh more views and subscribers i'd probably just play this game like on a personal level and i most likely would have like maxed out or tried to get my rank as far as possible <laughs> with uh the team so you guys are highly appreciated dang we lost a pretty box in there Oh, that's trash. We just we just had to destroy an Arcanine over some lava. But I, like I, I keep saying, I'm I'm very like happy with my, uh, I guess my quiz choice of getting a Cubone. It's been really clutch, especially with the Lightning Rod ability. So it also like makes more sense to just have a water Pokemon with me just so when an electric Pokemon comes up, I can absorb that damage. Okay, there wasn't that many floors to really do. Is this it? Is this Mount Blaze Summit? Wow, this is incredible. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow is much higher than normal. This might also have a link to the natural calamities. Ooh, it's like a furnace. I'm getting roasted. I don't want to spend any time in a place this danger. Let's get through this quick. Halt. Huh? What? It suddenly turned dark. I can hear the mountain's screams. It is shrieking in pain. Someone is causing Mountain Blaze to writhe, writhe in agony. Is it you? Huh? What's wrong? We're innocent. We were just passing through. He's like, oh, nah. Nah, bro. <laughs> Y'all wasn't just passing through, but okay, Moltres, let's see you out here. The mountain's rage is my rage. I am Moltres, the warrior fire I am I. There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. On guard. Maybe I should've gave a French accent or something? Wait, Ember hit us both? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna throw you. Uh, I kind of wish I brought um, something to heal up that burn. Uh-oh. Yeah, we gotta eat this orange berry. Or first, uh... I can always just... Put you back to sleep. Uh, I think your water move does more? Yeah. Ooh, and you got the confusion, so... Yeah, let me just eat my orange berry. So I'm good. I'll give you an orange berry next. Because looks like Renee's going to be uh, the one doing it for the team. Uh oh. I should have brought the slumber wands too. Oh no. <laughs> yep, out of sleep seeds. So I guess I uh, will use the orange berry. Oh, maybe I should have just threw it at Renee.
Okay, clutch. I'm glad I brought those sleep sheets with me because I'm not sure how well I would have done if I didn't bring those with. Those are actually pretty clutch to, to have. Ugh. I'm not done. I'm not finished yet. Wait, please listen. We're not here to cause any trouble. We were chased to this mountain. And you should know, this mountain isn't the only place that is suffering. Natural calamities are happening all in all sorts of places. We can't do anything. We're fugitives now. We want to help Pokemon in these times of natural disasters. Do you say that sincerely? It's true. Please believe me. If you think I'm lying, please look at my eyes. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. Oof. My gosh. I thought my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze. And promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that rack our world and stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Of course, that's not possible right now, but... <laughs> He's like, I said what I said. <laughs> we will. We'll, we'll do it as soon as we can. We're being chased, so we can't get on it right away, but we're on a rescue team. We'll get to the bottom of what's causing the natural calamities. I promise. Hmm. I will hold you to that promise. You've made me believe that you will honor it, as long as you do not forget the courage you showed in facing me. Is, is there anything else? No. I was only preparing to take off. <laughs> oh, does, does it need to do that? <laughs> Farewell. He's like, I, I gotta be, I gotta be dramatic. Oof. Yeah, that was scary. But it's really great that Moltres understood us. Anyway, we should get off Mount Blaze too. You said it. I'm all for it. We walked a lot, didn't we? <laughs> I'm tired. Let's get a little rest. Mm. The view's fantastic. Oh, look, Blades. Look over there. See how small Mont Blaze looks from here? We've come a really long way, haven't we? Um, Blades, wasn't it hard getting over Mount Blaze? I doubt that many Pokemon would be able to get through it. And it wasn't easy coming this far after that mountain. Do you... Want to know what I think? Do you think maybe that no Pokemon will be able to get to us here? Some still could, actually, because uh, we're like the weak of the weak. Oh. There are still Pokemon that could get us? Well, who do you mean? Oh, I get it. There's Alakazam. You're right. Alakazam's team should be able to get here. Yep, we don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to go somewhere no one else can get to. Must be positive and keep moving. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Oh, what, what's wrong? Aren't we going? <laughs> yeah, we are. Pardon? <laughs> Am I tired? They're trying to catch us. We don't have time to rest. And remember what I said. I said I would go with you, Blades. Oh, please don't look like that. Honest, I'm fine. Let's go. I'll always stick with you. Friendship. And so Blade's harrowing journey continued. Seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north. They crossed row upon row of mountains. Forded fitted swamps. And scaled frozen cliffs. Till finally, Blade's tiny team arrived in a world of snow. A frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. Oh, this looks nice. 
Urgh, it's, it's cold. Achoo! Yuck. My nose is running. It's f f freezing. Mm. Isn't this one lonely place? See how deep that snow is? I haven't seen any other Pokemon for a while either. Maybe we're all alone here. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, an Absol. Mm. What, what's that? What was that? It looked like a Pokemon, but... Did I imagine that? No, I don't think so. I'm sure there was somebody there. I wonder what they were doing in this lonely place. I just guess thinking about it won't help us. We should keep moving. As long as you know. Let's not be counterproductive out here. Oh. Blades, look. See that? Those trees are frozen. Wow. The snow is like frozen powder. It looks pretty, but it must be harsh there. Okay, we don't have a choice. We have to get through this place. Ooh, and it's cold? It'll be horribly cold. I'd rather not go if I didn't have to, but hiding out in this area isn't the answer either. We can only go forward. We'll just have to keep our spirits up and keep going. Aye, aye, let's stock up on some supply. Why am I at deposit? We are going to stock up on some, some more orange berries. Maybe I need some of you. Uh, we didn't use any reviver seeds, but just in case. I don't know how how harsh it'll be out here. Of course, we gotta have our blast seeds. We gotta have our sleep seeds. I'm just hoping I don't like run out of anything. We'll have the slumber wands with us. Uh, that's, that seems pretty, pretty good to have. Um, I probably should have taught like a fire move to, to myself, but I don't know which way should we go? Snow path or frosty forest? Uh, frosty forest. It's going to be freezing cold, but let's try our best. So only bad thing is that ice moves are going to be super effective against me. Oh yeah, that's right. We have a fighting move. Never mind, we good. Totally forgot. I got a fighting move on this guy, so I can I can f up these ice types. <laughs> oh, there's normal types here too. Yeah, I saw you, bro. I'm really loving how clutch Boomerang is. I think I say that like every episode now, ever since I got it. <laughs> Where I'm just like, yeah, this is the, this is the way. <laughs> Boomerang is the move out here. And then I have enough, um, ethers to, to like resupply it once I use it all up. I kind of don't get why there's a nose pass here. I feel like it's, I mean, what is, what is a rock type really doing out in like an ice area? Everything can like mess you up out here. And I don't think rock is super effective against, um, I don't think rock is super effective against, I think steel is steel super effective against ice, but rock. Nah. Aren't you in range for my boomerang? Or bone meringue? I keep... Wow, I've been calling it boomerang this whole time when it's bone. 
Ooh, a ditto. That was the first time we encountered a ditto. That was interesting. I'm trying to think, because I think the link box, uh, either that was for like the linking moves or it was for using it in evolution later on. But that I could be thinking of like the link cable. Someone has intruded upon the forest. The enfeebled flow of icy winds is the intrusion to blame. It must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm glad that water gun missed. Oh, we're about to be balling once we finally can go back. We're about to be balling once we can go back to uh, the town and get our rescuing on. We can buy more, uh, buy more locations to recruit. That'll come in clutch, I think, with recruiting like the legendary Pokemon. Wow, we're picking up a lot of stuff. But I guess it works out because uh, I can just eat stuff too. So, uh, I think it was like, even if I drink something, that, sh not you, even if I drink something, I think that's supposed to fill my stomach up? Oh no, okay. <laughs> I thought. Let's just sort that. Why do we... I'm like, we don't even need that. <laughs> Why would I want grimy food? Nah, me. I do wish I had a rock move though. That would definitely be clutch because uh, I don't have anything for flying types. Um, and I probably should have taught Renee. Oh, look at that. See, Thunderfang. That. Oh, oh man, this is a, a nice duo. I'm thinking about Thunderfang, um, not Thunderfang, Ice Beam, and how I didn't teach Renee Ice Beam. All right, let's see. What can we deposit? Um, I didn't actually want to deposit that. Because... Oh, flash cannon would probably be clutch, maybe? Let's see, we got you to deposit. Dang, did I really bring all this stuff up with me? Or did I pick up some? I think I can, I think it's safe to just put two of you away. I don't know how many of those I'm gonna need, but okay, I think I think that's a good idea for not trash. I can't I can't just give it to you. Uh, 
Bop, bop. Okay, I guess I have to do it in the dungeon. I guess it's because I gave Renee the orange berry while we were fighting um, Moltres. Yep. But if anything, nah, I'll just leave it because I was like, with the with the boss that we're gonna be coming up against, I was thinking like I might as well have just uh given it to my character just for the simple fact that we'll be taking probably a lot of special special uh attack super effective at that wow that lag there or frame rate drop one of the two so like one thing i i did do for like this recording is i switched up where i have uh, my mic and my capture card plugged up on my PC So I don't know if that has anything to do with it since when I the initial plug-in setup I had like I never had that issue Oh, I want to recruit you bro Oh yeah, we got that level up, 34. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll fight you. How much health do you have? God dang. Okay, do your magnet rise, bro. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, we need those orange berries. What floor was it that we ended up fighting Moltres on? Was it, was it like... Was it 14? Why would you why would you use protect bro like you have the super effective like skills out here All righty, hopefully we can do this in a timely manner <laughs> We sure have traveled far into this forest. I think we'll be out if we can get through this part it shouldn't be far. Let's keep going. Alrighty. Hmm. Huh? D did you say something? Nah. <laughs> I didn't think so. I thought I heard a voice. I must have imagined it. Hmm. Turn back. You may not pass. Who's there? You are forbidden to pass. If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you have defeated me. I'm like, oh, okay. Ow, oh, it's too bright. The ice around us is reflecting this light. Ah, uh, yeah. I am Articuno. Fun fact, Articuno is my favorite out of the three legendary birds from Generation 1. Always has been. The Wanderer, the Warder of Ice. <laughs> Those that enter the forest I shall destroy with all my might. Let us begin. Um... Not good. It's good to know that, uh, what was it? Um, that Renee can get those hits in like that. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, please, because it woke up so freaking fast. <laughs> what does Mist do? Oh, just prevent stat lowering. Cool, because, uh... I'm just trying to inflict all these status effects on you. We got the totter seed too. So now you're confused and sleepy. I, I, I. You gonna miss? You gonna miss Renee? Really? <laughs> Okay, that was clutch. Oh, snap. Oh, I'm glad you're protected, Renee. <laughs> okay, that did it. Sweet. Please, Articuno. We have to get through no matter what. Please let us pass. No, I cannot allow your passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid force air. It has warmed considerably in recent times. Warmed? I'm still freezing. The flow of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. This has never happened, even once. Then you appeared in the forest. Is this not your doing? We, we don't have anything to do with that. It's a coincidence. Please, Articuno, listen to me. It's not our fault the snow is melting. It's not just here. Right now, natural calamities are occurring everywhere. The forest's frigid airflow would have been disturbed even if we hadn't come. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. Stop it. Ooh. Okay, Absol. I see you. Uh, Absol? There is nothing false in what they said. Calamities are indeed occurring in nature, nature everywhere. Is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. So there are calamities besides this. Hmm. Fine. I will choose to believe you. You may pass. Articuno. However, you must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promise, Articuno. Oof, that was close. Thank you. You saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they are left unchecked, worse will befall us. My instinct warns me so. I sense the terrible power of the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. Huh? You will, really? Really, to put an end to the Calamity's cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. <laughs> Thank you, Absol. And we got a level 28 Absol, sweet. Whoa, it has a rare quality. Squeeze out. Squeeze out. Ah, mm -mm. mm -mm. squeeze out. Smart strike. Rainbow gummy. Woo -woo. And so... After getting through the Frosty Forest, Blade's team headed farther north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. The icy mountain path seems to go on forever. We've walked a long way here. Renee looks exhausted too. We've been running all this time out of desperation. 
What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? <sighs> this is too cold. There's nothing but snow now. The scenery's been the same for a while. I wonder if we're really making progress. Um, I was thinking, it looks like we finally reached somewhere that's deserted. I also have a feeling that there isn't anything ahead. And I'm pretty tired. The two of us, what's going to happen to us? Don't worry, we'll be fine. You're right. There isn't any point in wondering about what we did, not after all this. Sorry, Blades, I was just getting down on myself. Blades, I believed in you and that's what got me this far, and that's not changing. I have faith in you. I'll go with you always. Yes, Renee, trust me without any doubt. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more. <sighs> what? what? What was that? D dizzy. What? Huh? Is something wrong, Blades? Finally. Finally, you have arrived. Some Someone is talking to me? Renee? No, the voice isn't Renee. This voice... I've heard it somewhere. Ah, Scardivore was good. Finally. You have arrived. I've been waiting for you. G Gardevoir? I am so glad. Finally, we get to meet. You're... What? <laughs> They're like, who are you talking to, bro? Is something the matter? Why are you talking to yourself? Y'all y'all don't see Gardevoir right here. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I cannot be seen by others. I am visible only to you. A little farther ahead, there is a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. On its peak, Ninetales lives. N Ninetales? Ninetales awaits for your arrival. Beware. Oh, wait. Hey, what's the, what's the matter? What's happened? A lot has happened, actually. Oh, so that's what happened. Gardevoir appeared to you. That's why you were looking so stunned earlier. I'm amazed, though. Ninetales isn't just a legend. It really exists. And that Ninetales is up at the peak. <laughs> Blades. All the effort we put into getting here, it's finally going to bear fruit. We'll meet Ninetales to get the truth. We'll finally get rid of the suspicions they have about you, too. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> Listen, Blades, don't be so worried. It'll be all right. It's only natural that you'd be scared of meeting Ninetales. The heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir, it may be you. I can understand how you could think that. But that's impossible. You're not that human, I'm sure. You believe so much in me? Hmm? Well, there was a time when I had some doubts, but now I wonder why. I really don't know why, actually. But it doesn't matter. I know you're a good sort, Blades. Do you remember? When I first got the idea to start a rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods. Even back then, I sensed there was something different about you. It is weird, isn't it? But I believe in you. Anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Blades, let's do our best. And guys, that said, I'm in this episode off here. Uh, this is a pretty long video due to the cutscenes of the fight. And I wanted to get through like that whole dungeon with the Articuno fight. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps with the video a lot. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It helps out the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.